Right, so another board we're about to unpack and have a um, obviously put it in sub board review, but this is a first look at the board. This is the Nash Nalu 106 GS. So this is basically pretty much Nash's bread and butter, let's say, of the if you want to get into paddle boarding and you want a good all-round board that goes surfing and also you can paddle on flat water, this is the sort of thing you should be looking at. So let's just get this unpacking. And before I unpack it, I just want to make obviously make sure that Nash have got our attention up there and there and there. But this one's a really important one that most of you guys probably aren't aware of. But when you put your board bags, when you put your boards away and they're wet, um, basically you can get paint blistering which is where over a length of time moisture can get in under the paint layer. So you've always got to remove the moisture from your board before you, before you put it in your board bag. And that's basically what Nash is saying here. Don't put, do not put a wet board into a board bag. Dry out before leaving it in a board bag for any length of time as to avoid paint blistering. So it's just a little thing if you guys aren't aware of that. That can happen on any brand board. Any board in the total paint blistering, make sure your board is dry before you store it for a long length of time in a board bag. So let's carry on, get this undone. Okay, let's get have a look at this National Lou 10-6. Nice and light. Oh, first thing to note, EVA deck pad here, you can see it, there's a bump and it comes in. So you actually have a thicker rail at the side and you come in and sit slightly in at the side and that's actually on the board. It's not actually the EVA deck pad, it's actually the board shape. It's quite nice, tails off towards the tail. All Nash boards aren't that thick. Obviously race boards are thicker, but this board, so this is a 10.6. This is a pretty much an average size board and it's only four inches thick. So it's still gonna have that performance characteristics definitely in the surf by having a thinner rail. So straight away, we can tell this board's gonna have more performance based um, riding characteristics than a fatter, bigger 10.6. Lovely finish. Um, no grip up here, so you're gonna have to wax that or put some Get some grip up there somehow. Attention, remember to put your valve in. Yep, that's definitely a must. Beautiful looking shape. Nice small amount of tail kick. Let's do it this way. And a nice, actually quite a, quite a nice amount of tail kick actually. So it is gonna surf well, this board. Um, let's turn her over. It's light, yeah, it's light. Beautiful bottom to it. Bit of a concave there. Any nice US box FCS side fins. Yeah, it's a lovely looking shape actually. Yeah, this will surf really, this looks like it will surf really well. And obviously paddle on flat water really well. Let's have a look at the fin. Um, let's find it. Yes! Victorious! Ooh! Nice looking fin. Quite a narrow base on that. Nice swept back, quite deep. Nine inch. Fin. Nice looking side fins that match that. I mean, I keep on going about the, start, the, um, the Nash stuff, quality of it. And to, to be fair, a lot of the brands, the top end brands, the quality has gone up. Um, definitely the finishing quality. And nice, nice looking fins there. Just glass fins, as your fin screws and stuff. So yeah, get that one on the water. It's gonna be a nice all round sup, slightly tailored towards the surf. Um, we'll give that one a go and let you know how we get on with that very soon.